Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Tea Lover. So if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and press on the bell icon to get my latest update. So as you know that we have got the back to back ransomware attack on your PC again and again, which convert your all the file or data of your computer just in the format of dot extension. So I'll just show you some example of this extension. So these are some latest extension of this ransomware MOQS, GUID, QXCS, UFWJ, NIR, etc. Okay. This extension will convert your file into dot format and it, it will be encrypted over there. This should be decrypted to get your data back. But so firstly I'll tell you how you will just got this attack. So if you are using a Chrome browser or any browser then a pop up will come on your screen and you just allow some extension in your Chrome then you might got an ransomware attack or you have just downloaded something cracked software from different without looking for the site identity site verification you just go for downloading and you install the software then you might got a ransomware attack so these two things can get your pc attacked by a ransomware so the ransomware is simply just like a kidnapping okay so here the ransomware will kidnap your data and they will just ask for some amount of money to get your data back but in this video i'll show you how you can get your data back without paying for the ransomware okay if you can't go for this video then i have just made a blog on this ransomware data recovery process you can just move to the my blog and in the blog i have just written all the process that you should do to recover your file and remove the ransomware from the pc you can go through this and you can remove the virus from computer and get your data back okay so if you want to contact me through any medium then you can just contact me through tlover2054 in instagram if you have any queries and question regarding this or you can just use any medium facebook twitter instagram whatsapp from my blog i have just provided this link in my channel also okay so let's begin for the today's topic and in the topic of today we are just discussing how you can remove this extension from a computer and you can recover your data from your pc okay so if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel so let's begin so first thing when you just get a attack by a ransomware virus then your all the file on your pc will convert it in the format of this extension over here there would be any extension you don't have to worry about it so there are a lot of decrypt tool also tell you that this decrypt tool are updated last in august 2019 so this decrypt tool are not updated since august 2019 so just don't go for this decrypting option because this will not help you you have to just use any strong or professional data recovery software to get your data back for example i have a quick kill over here i'll just extract this file over here okay so quick kill has provided a decrypt tool so we'll just open the decrypt tool how it's work so this is the decryptor this quick kill app provided us so it has told that please run the application at administration so we have to just run this application at administration so just right click and run as administrator okay now you can look here is some extension given by this quick kill and you can extract some data recovery from this but the virus extension that you are searching should just be available over here okay so if your ransomware attack virus extension is over here then you can easily remove your or decrypt your data but if you have no extension on this then you can not get this so i want to tell you that this all the decryptor tool are not updated 2019 august so i don't suggest you to go for this okay so i'll just show you how you can recover your data so first thing when your pc is attacked by virus then you have to just put your computer in a safe mode okay so for safe mode just go for the search option and type run else you can just use this i am showing you this command over here just type m s c o n f i g and just hit the ok option now a pop-up screen will open here and now you can see a boot option over here just go for the boot option and now you have to just select the safe boot in this boot option while selecting the boot option safe boot option 
you have to just scroll down and you can see a network option here over there just click for the network if you do not click for this network then you will not able to connect your pc to the internet because this safe boot does not allow you to internet in the minimal alternate shell and active directory repair option okay so you have to compulsorily select the network option in this thing okay and just apply for this and click on the okay so i'm just not applying this you have to apply this so after applying this your pc will be exactly like this you will see a safe food option in the top corner of your pc okay you have to check that either there is something in your pc that is now you have to check that either the ransomware have left some their identity on your pc or not so for that just click on the this pc or my computer and now you have to go for the local disk c okay so i have only single drive over here just go for local disk c and you have to just select the windows option click on the windows and scroll down now you can see a system 32 click on the system 32 and just scroll down and you can get a driver option okay so click on the driver and you can see a etc so just go for it and now you can see a host so i have just provided this thing in the blog also okay you can just read over here here is the file location local disk c windows system 32 driver etc and host so now you have to just edit host with the notepad so let's go for it we'll just edit this with the notepad this is the host right click on it open with and you have to just select with the notepad so here is a notepad just go for it so now if your computer is attracted or you, your ransomware have left some identity on your pc then you will see a ip address just below this hashtag option just like this okay when you see this just select this ip address and delete this ip address and save this host file okay after saving this file just close all this so you can use any strong antivirus on the pc to remove this ransomware but the best thing you can do on your pc is formatting or installing a new windows on your c drive because the data in the c drive are very rare to get back just format your c drive and when your new windows will load on your c drive then you will run the data recovery software on your pc because if you just use the antivirus on your pc then you can you might got the same attack in the future also i have just provided this data recovery tool in my site so just go for it so this is the site here is i have the ransomware data recovery process just scroll down and here you can see your download option just click for it just click on the download option so just click on the download anyway so our file has been downloading okay so i've just downloaded this file okay so i'll show you how to install this thing so for installing just extract this stellar data recovery with windrun so extract file now it requires a password over here so i have just provided this password in my site also just scroll down and you can see a password as a t lover so copy this paste for it okay so this is the password press on the enter key so our file is extracting over here so as you see that it is successfully extract we'll just run a normal installation in this pc here is the things go for this data recovery professional tool double click it and you will run a normal installation on your pc so if your computer is in safe mode then this might not work so for installing this software just go back or exit the safe mode and install this software so click on the ok next 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 here it is being installed it does not take any time it will just install within a couple of minutes okay so we have to just crack this software because this software doesn't work without cracking so it has been successfully installed so we are finishing this setup and now we have to crack this file so for cracking the file so if you haven't cracked this file when you open the stellar data recovery you will see a demo option just above this stellar data recovery so i'll show you that thing also so you can see that demo option just above the header of this stellar data recovery tool okay so just close this now we'll crack this software so for cracking just go for the crack folder so you have to select their computer is 32 bit or 64 bit so for looking this just go for the disk pc so after going for this pc just click on the computer 
and here is a system property so when you go for system property now you can see a bit of your computer so here is a 64 bit operating system okay so i'm just selecting the 64 bit if your computer is 34 bit then you will see a you have to select the 86 bit okay so just go for the 64 option and you can see our three files just outside over here so inside the dr folder you can see our next file also there still data recovery so copy this file just move one step back and you will paste this file over here okay so here you can see our four file over here just copy this four file after copying it you will just go for the desktop and you will just search for the shortcut that stellar data recovery has created okay so just right click on it so open file location and you will paste this thing in this folder so it is this c drive program file stellar data recovery and dr okay so you can just move in this file also so you have to paste over here so it will ask for to replace the file go for replacing it do for this all current item and continue option so within a second it will get cracked over here now we'll check this thing is cracked or not okay so we'll just go for the stellar data recovery so as you see that the demo version in the top header of this stellar data recovery has successfully removed it means that we have successfully cracked our software now we'll go for the data recovery process so if you need any data then first of all you have to just uncheck this all data because if you go for this all data then it might take two days three days just to scan this file okay so i don't suggest you to go for this all data now we have to select the respective file at once okay so if you need a video go for video if you need for audio go for audio only if you need photo go for photos only so i suggest you one at a time so now just click on the photos option i need a photos you can choose any of the option and click on the next option so now you will select a drive from which drive just you want to recover your data now you will select a drive over here from which drive you want to extract or recover your data from so i'm just selecting for the f drive okay so before going for a scan the most important things here you have, you have to do is just click on the deep scan if you just forgot this then your data will be not recovered just click on the deep scan and go for the scan so next thing i want to tell you that it might take or two three hours or more than two three hours or you can you might just got this thing within a 10 minute 15 minute that depend upon your system volume or data you may have in this drive okay your data recovery depend upon system configuration and the file that you have on your drive this data recovery tool does not work 100 percently but it work according to your data so i've just provided some percentage of this data recovery so you can recover up to 99% of your photos okay so you can go for 80% on your video 70% on the document and other file also there are chances to be recovered so you can just get the photoshop design or many more okay it is being scanned over here it might take some time i'm just skipping this part after completing this you will see a pop-up like this and you have to close this pop-up okay so you will see your data on the raw data okay so just don't go for the other folder the 90 percent of data in this other folder are just useless okay so you have to just go for the raw data so here is a raw data we'll just expand this and you can see a jpg png so these are the format that you need so these are the format that you have to get back your data so there is a jpg when you go for it you can see your number of recovered data over here okay so in this way you can get your data back on your computer so just select this jpg folder click on the recover and now you have to select the destination folder so main thing i want to tell you that if you recover the data from d drive and you save it in the d drive then it will not acceptable okay so if you want to recover the data from d drive you have to save to the c e f or other drive okay so do not select the same drive for the recovery and pasting option so just go for the anything okay so here i select the f drive select the folder okay so start saving and it will start saving your file 
so we'll just check the our file has been recovered or not okay so i'll show you the proof that our file has been recovered so it is my bootable print drive i'll go for the root okay so here is a raw data jpg okay now you can see our data has been recovered over here okay so as you see that our data has been successfully repaired over here so in this way you can get your data back so if you need any support and you uh, if you need any help and support regarding this topic or any issue then you can directly contact me through the tlover2054 instagram or you are unable to use the instagram then you can just use the any medium from my blog so thanks for your support thank you